may you live in interesting times. Uh, and especially in the photovoltaic business, uh, we always live in interesting times. Why? Let's look and dive into uh, our trends. My name is Marcin Zienkiewicz and I am Head of Procurement and Trading at MenloElectric.com. Uh, today I would like to show you uh, some global PV trends, uh, meaning uh, some uh, latest trends uh, of photovoltaics, uh, prices and what could we expect in 2024. But before we start, uh, as photovoltaic is mainly produced uh, in China, uh, let's start with which is said to be a Chinese uh, curse, uh, which goes as a beautiful sentence, may you live in interesting times. Uh, and especially in the photovoltaic business, uh, we always live in interesting times. Why? Let's look and dive into uh, our trends. So starting with uh, photovoltaic uh, businesses uh, co continue, continues to grow. Uh, and as we see from uh, Bloomberg, uh, right now, the cost uh, of electricity benchmark, uh, both for, uh, for solar business and uh, wind in energy, uh, is right now very competitive uh, to uh, fossil fuels like oil, gas uh, and coal. Uh, that means uh, that we have a very bright future uh, for further growth of uh, wind and solar uh, energy. When we look uh, into data of uh, International Energy Agency, we would see uh, the same view. Uh, so as you can see with main case and accelerated case, uh, in the future, uh, renewable energy would grow each year uh, more than uh, previous uh, year. Uh, and what is most important uh, for us, uh, that the share of um, photovoltaic uh, in mix of renewable energy uh, would be the highest. When we look into the uh, situation uh, across European Union countries uh, and the new directive uh, from uh, Europe, it means that we have also very ambitious targets. Uh, European Union, with uh, its latest directive, try to double existing share of renewable energy in European Union. So right now, the target till 2030 is 32.5% uh, uh, and maybe even 35% uh, um, energy from renewable uh, sources. Of course, European Union is uh, more than 20 countries, so that means that each country would have its own pace of growth uh, and would be uh, mainly driven by local governments. Uh, it would also influence uh, particular market segments. Uh, so, for example, uh, if government would subsidize households, then we would have uh, a very uh, nice boom uh, in residential segment. On the other hand, uh, if the electricity prices uh, would uh, be increased uh, for commercial segment, uh, or they would, uh, there would be some subsidies for uh, commercial segment, we would also see that uh, small and medium companies would uh, invest more into photovoltaic. Uh, we also uh, had the situation in previous year that some neighboring countries could, could, could have on one hand uh, boom in photovoltaic and on the other hand uh, a little slowdown or even recession in photovoltaics. Uh, for example, the situation uh, happened in Hungary last time uh, when there was uh, <coughs> lack of uh, connection to, to the grid for new installations. On the other hand, we have a boom uh, in Germany. We had also a boom in Italy with a great uh, subsidies uh, for energy storage systems together with photovoltaics. Uh, we have smaller and bigger waves going from country to country uh, driven by local governments. But all in all, the perspective of European Union is quite strict. Uh, they would like to double existing share of renewable energy uh, across all countries. Let's now talk about model prices, uh, at, as it is the 
most volatile uh, price in photovoltaics. So we start with a, a very nice picture. Uh, some of you could think it's a roller coaster, but as we think about it, it's a solar coaster. And that is something that we could define uh, the prices of uh, models in our industry. So if you, if you would like to dispatch the price into some components and segments, we should start with the most important one, meaning polysilicon. So as you can see, uh, one model uh, dispatched into uh, different components, uh, the polysilicon is only in solar cells. So polysilicon is used to make wafers uh, that form the base of solar cells, and solar cells account for about 50% of the total cost of solar modules. Uh, of course, the new technology is coming uh, using uh, thinner solar cells, which means that they would use uh, less polysilicon than the previous models. However, it would be decreased from 50%, maybe to 45%. So all in all, uh, polysilicon would still be the most important component and would be the mm, bigger driver of prices uh, in model industry and would drive the price of models. If we look into <coughs> past few years, uh, starting with uh, 2004 and finishing at 2000, 2024, we could see uh, a big policy sh shortages in 2006 and 2008. So during these years, uh, policy prices uh, went even above uh, 400 USD per kilogram. Starting with 2010, the prices stabilized a little, and uh, this stabilized price uh, went to 2020. And then, of course, COVID-19 happened. So if we zoom in uh, this few years, uh, starting with 2020 up uh, till 2024, uh, we could see there was a huge up and down. Uh, so increase of prices started at 2020, when there was also a shortage of uh, polysilicon across the market. At this time, the price of polysilicon increased from 10 uh, USD per kilogram, uh, even up to 30 uh, USD kilogram, and at, at peak it was even uh, more. So that also caused uh, models prices to grow. The prices of models were doubled, uh, achieving levels of above 30 cents per watt peak uh, on its peak at the end of uh, 2022. Uh, so, at this point of time, uh, some optimistic uh, outlooks for PV industry uh, came to the market. Uh, manufacturers of, policy, of polysilicon and models making additional earnings decided to open uh, new factories to increase capacity. And then we moved to oversupply. Uh, so, at the end of 2022, the price of polysilicon started to drop. And following that, also the prices of models uh, decreased a lot. So at the end of 2022, we had 30 euro cents per, per watt peak uh, at uh, roughly a peak. And at the end of 2023, we finished slightly above uh, 10 euro cents per watt peak uh, in mainstream uh, prices of products. That means that polysilicon is the main driver of prices that could even triple the price or double the price of models. Secondly, we go to logistics. Uh, by logistics, of course, we are meaning shipping costs from China to Europe. Maybe some of you uh, remember this picture, uh, one of the evergreen ships uh, that was stacked in Suez Canal, making a lot of chaos in the industry, making a lot of, a lot of delays, and uh, a lot of uh, disinformation was going on. <clears throat> so some ships at this moment of time decided to go around Africa. Some of them waited until uh, the canal would be unblocked and they could uh, smoothly go uh, through it to Europe. And quite a similar situation happened uh, two years later. Uh, at the end of 2023, uh, on December, uh, Yemen rebels started to shoot on civil uh, ships going with the goods to Europe and North Africa. After that, major shipping company decided to go around Africa, saying hello to our South Africa branch. But what does it mean in terms of logistics? It means that all ships 
would go right now 13,000 nautical miles instead of 10,000 nautical miles, so 30% longer route, and it would take 35 days instead of around 25 days. So customer uh, would need to wait longer for their deliveries. Of course, it also impacts on the cost of the shipping uh, from China to Europe. But before that, let's ra just check uh, the, the traffic of the ships going uh, around Cape of Good Hope. So, uh, so as you can see, there is a huge green stream of ships that are going around Africa on the way to Europe. If we check the costs of that uh, and jump into 2020 uh, on the right upper corner, you could see that the prices of uh, shipping from China to Europe were around 2000 USD. After that, when the COVID started and the global demand uh, uh, increased, uh, companies tried to uh, replenish their stocks and to have safe stock for, for the pandemic time. Uh, the shipping rates went higher up to 8,000 USD in the end of 2020, and even 15,000 USD uh, between 2021 and 2022. So that was the highest shipping rate, almost 10, ti 10, ti 10 times higher than it was in 2020. After that, uh, the price started to decrease, and at 2023, we had 1,500 USD. After the block, block of uh, Red Sea and this whole Red Sea situation, when the ship started to go around Africa, the shipping rate increased up to 5,000 USD. What does it mean in terms of model prices? So if we take uh, some container of models with shipping price from October and November around 2,000 euro, uh, at the end of December, the cost of the of shipping was 10,000 euro per container when there was a lot of chaos a lot of disinformation what's going on uh, in January the price was 5,000 euro per container so it stabilized at this point point. and right now we would see what happens after Chinese New Year uh, and second half of February but if we assume uh, as this price of 5,000 euro would remain in following months, it means that uh, average container of models uh, would have increased price by 6% due to ships going around Africa. And uh, as uh, previous blocking of Suez Canal by one ship was one of situations that uh, had to be solved quickly, with current situation uh, of Yemen uh, shooting uh, civil ships, it's about safety. So it's hard to say when someone would come and, and, and say, OK, now it's safe, we can go through Suez Canal. So current situation could even take weeks, months. Uh, that is something we don't know, but obviously would uh, be one of the driver of higher uh, prices of models in following weeks or even months. Of course, there are some factors uh, that are less essential, uh, but could also influence the price of models in 2024. One of them is currency exchange rate, which uh, uh, through past few years is quite stable with uh, small volati volatility plus minus 5%. <coughs> of course, we need to check uh, RMB, uh, USD and Euro. Uh, to check the currency situation uh, from also Chinese manufacturers' point of view. Uh, and we also have uh, from time to time some one-off situation. Uh, so usually, usually at the end of the year, some manufacturers would like to uh, clear warehouses, and the same is going with some of the distributors to diminish the stock. Uh, however, in 2023, the situation was, let's say, special. Because we are at the moment when main Chinese manufacturers are also switching to new technology. So they would like to get out of PERC models uh, at the end of 2023 to have a space for a new technology. Uh, either it would be Topcon or Heterojunction. Uh, however, the new models are coming to Europe and should arrive in first and second quarter of 2024 among uh, major Chinese manufacturers.
So let's sum up the uh, model prices uh, situation. First of all, as I said, the policy leak is the main driver of model prices and accounts for about 50% of the total cost of solar models. Even in the future, it will be the most important factor. Secondly, logistics. We should look uh, deeply in 2024 what is happening after Chinese New Year and what is ha happening especially uh, at Red Sea. The lower prices in Q4 2023 were something we could call one-off. Uh, it was clearing PERC modules from uh, Rotterdam warehouses and European warehouses. Uh, and also globally, manufacturers, manufacturers would like to cut off PERC modules and switch to new technology. We should also take a look into currency exchange. Uh, it was quite stable, but the situation, of course, could change in the future. Uh, and as we have a whole mix, uh, this whole mix uh, drives the price of uh, models, of course, connected with uh, supply and demand globally. Now, let's have a very short uh, view into inverters and storage system prices. So, if we talk about inverter, the situation is very uh, opposite from modules. With modules, we had one main component, which was polysilicon. However, with inverters, we have hundreds of components. So, there is no particular component uh, which is driving uh, the price of inverters. Uh, also, the opposite situation is when we are talking about logistics. Full container of inverters uh, has much bigger value than full containers of modules. So it could have even 10, 000, uh, 10 times uh, higher value than uh, modules. So even if the shipping rates would increase, and they would, for example, increase uh, model container uh, price by 5%, they would at the same time increase the container of inverters by only half percent. So it would be 10 times less. However, hundreds, hundreds of components also have some disadvantages. One of them are shortages. So for example, we had such situation in 2020, 2021 and 2022 when we faced shortages of chips. So due to shortages of chips, we also experienced lack of inverters because manufacturers could not uh, accomplish uh, production lines. All in all, inverter prices are more stable than modules. However, there are some most important factors like overcapacity. During these days, we have very high overcapacity in terms of inverters. And we also have uh, very high competition among manufacturers. And that would be something that, in our opinion, should uh, drive the price of inverters in 2024. We also should take a look into new players that are still, uh, still entering European and global market. Of course, with choosing product from the new player, we should be aware of financial situation. So we always uh, recommend to uh, use the products of uh, Chinese manufacturers that have very good financial uh, situation. For example, are stock listed in uh, Shanghai uh, Stock Exchange and you can always check uh, what is going on inside the company. Moving to storage system, the situation uh, with components is similar to models because storage system also have the main component which is battery cells. And uh, battery cells are decreasing uh, through uh, last year and the price of battery cells is also expected to be stable or slightly decrease in following months. Uh, when we talk about logistics, uh, uh, the, the situation is the same as with inverters. So the full container of batteries uh, have um, quite a big value, uh, so it is seven times higher uh, than, let's say, usual container of models. Uh, so shipping cost does not affect as much uh, for battery uh, prices as it, as it was with models. However, there is also some risk of shortages, like it was in 2020-2022, due to sales shortages, when especially automotive industry uh, had very huge demand for battery cells. 
uh, regarding prices, battery prices are quite stable. Uh, and the most important price factor for 2024 is also over capacity and competition among manufacturers. So we rather expect that these prices could be stable or slightly decrease in following months. So finally, I would like to express this Chinese, Chinese curse. May you live in interesting times, because in photovoltaics, every year we have very interesting times. Thank you very much uh, for your attention. And right now, let's invite Mikolai again to show you what's going on among the new technology of models. Thank you very much.